there is only one thing in this world that is more beautiful than the scene before you. Boom. This folding knife right here. And guys, thank you for watching The Knife Whisperer. And remember, I love you. Knife Lapper here. What do we got today? It's Monday. What do we do on Mondays? Tell me. <laughs> oh, that's right. What? How could I have forgotten? I knew there was something, but thanks for letting me know. I'm an idiot. Knife Confession Day. All right. Let's see. Well, just so happens I got a topic for us. Today I want to talk about the honeymoon phase. Now, as many of you may know, last Friday I acquired one of my Grail knives, this Curtis F3 from Big Boar Knife and Gear, Scott. I have wanted one of these knives for probably like 38 years and I am 37 years old. How does that make sense? You tell me, because I have no idea, but I know it's true, I just do. So, honeymoon phase. How do we define the honeymoon phase? Well, let's pretend like, well, let's relate it to a relationship. You're newly married, you go on your honeymoon, right? And the honeymoon is the two of you enjoying each other. Everything's still all new and fun. You just got married. You have all these things to look forward to. Well, hopefully. Anyways, what you do, the honeymoon is just it's supposed to be the time of your life. You know, you're so into each other. Everything's new and fun and exciting. Now, just so happens that that does exist in the world of knives. I'm serious. We've heard this before. If you're if you're no stranger to the knife enthusiast world, you've heard the honeymoon phase. When you you get a, a new knife, this can this can apply for anything really that you're into. Something new that you get, and because it's new to you and you've wanted it for a while, whatever, like the object, thing, person, whatever, can do no wrong in your eyes. That's true. That's true. I have had a lot of new knives, and I I thought I had kind of experienced the honeymoon phase. Mine was probably more like the pre-honeymoon phase, because I get bored of things super fast. Usually like a honeymoon will last like a week, we'll say about a week, maybe more. You know, and, and, then, and then reality starts to kick in, and you just kind of go with the flow, and it's not so new anymore. For me, my free honeymoon would last maybe two days and I'd be over it, you know, still like it, but it would just go up in the drawer and I have it on a rotation of fidgeting with or pretending to cut things or whatnot. But that all changed when I got this Curtis F3. I have had this since Friday, okay? And what's today? Today's Monday, so say Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm going on four days now. Like I said, my normal's two days where I start to get bored with something. We're going on four days and I am still attached to this knife. I might as well take this knife and stitch it to the side of my leg because I don't ever want it to be out of my sight. When I cannot have this, like I just get out of work and so I couldn't sit there and play with this bad boy. And I was fiending all day. I couldn't, I brought it with me today, obviously. I'm leaving work, here it is. I couldn't wait to go outside on my break and have it in my hands and flip it and admire it and blow kisses at it, stick my tongue out at it and tell it how beautiful it is. Like I am honeymoon, honeymooning hard with this knife, super hard. And um, so I'm here to confess to you guys that the honeymoon phase in the knife world is legit. It's extremely legit. It is... It's... It's... 
it's a definitely a thing, okay? And um, I don't know if it's because it was a grail of mine that just made this last a little longer or what. But um, how long do um, the honeymoon phases for you guys last? Now, what I want to more directly ask this question to the guys or or you guys. It could be the same thing for um, production knives. It doesn't have to be a custom knife, you know. Or, when you get your grail knife, not just the knife you like, but one of your grail knives, has your your love fest lasted longer for that knife? Or is, is it just me? I have a feeling it's not just me. And um, I want to know you guys' thoughts on this whole situation at hand. Are you honeymooning hard for a knife right now? Bet you're not honeymoon as hard as I am, because I love this thing. Absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, I am going to send this to Dave Curtis. Sorry guys, my phone decided that it got too hot to work and it just shut off. Man, I wish I could just shut off when I get too hot to work. It would have shut off a long time ago today. So in closing, do you guys agree? Have you had a honeymoon phase that has lasted four plus days, weeks, months, I want to hear about it because my confession to you is it's real and it's got a hold of me something fierce. So guys, let me know, like and subscribe if you already haven't, and as always, boom! The Knife Whisperer loves your freaking face. And again, for the 800th time, Scott, thank you very much for this F3. I love your face super hard. Guys, another knife confessions. Number eight, Knife Whisperer, out.